Hello and welcome. I'm Tripp. I'm Ash. This is our 2015 Ford Transit conversion build. Today we're going to take you on a tour of what we did to it. Let's go check it out. So we built this van primarily to either go camping or to go racing, or go to the tracks, or to have something to pull some of our toys with. And so it's not as done up as some of the other van life builds. You know, we don't have as much power and solo and stuff like that. It's essentially a, a camper, but we do have all the set, the main things to get us to the weekend, to be comfortable, or just to relax. All right, so welcome to our van. So right now I'm standing in the living room space, the kitchen space. So this is where we're gonna be sitting while one of us is maybe preparing meals. Um, I guess I'll start off with what I'm sitting on now. This is kind of our lovely kitchen seat as well as our hidey hole to put extra storage in like blankets and other things that we may wanna take on our adventures. That's why I have this lovely table here that pops out. So if we want to sit out here, we can put our drinks there and watch the beautiful landscape around us. So this is where we're going to cook our meals. This is a Camplex little propane cooker. Yeah, I also have a, a running pump sink, a little cutting board. Aha, secret cutting board, we have our sink. We do have running water. Right here, just gotta pump it. Voila, the miracle It's on a little fancy foot pump. And we didn't want to do anything too complicated with a electrical pump and that's loud and tends to break. Yeah, we don't, we don't need all that for what we're using the van for. This was simple and easy. We have a, that's our gray water. That's our fresh water. Kept it simple and easy. A propane tank for Which our stove. I still need to mount somewhere. <laughs> right now it's just chill in a box. We have our little trash can. I will say that for this cabinet, because we don't want the water or our propane tanks moving around, we have the little locking handles. So we're not gonna go anywhere little extra security. Very easy to unlock as necessary. As you say that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. So I guess I'll start up with the, the cabinet space. So we have some, some trivets to put our hot items on. We have as our mothers taught us to keep all of our Walmart bags as necessary. We're going to get some different bins eventually, but you know, just have some various snacks and other important items in here. We have some other snacks, paper towels. We have our tech where we can put our dirty clothes. We have our toilet paper, towels. And then if we went on a long trip, we'd probably keep our clothing in there, our bags and items that we're taking with us. So moving on to, all right, then I guess I'll go through our drawers. So our top drawer, you know, we've got our silverware and little dividers, can openers, very important tools to make coffee, cups, just kind of simple doodads that we may need. This one, we've got all of our very fancy china coffee pots. We have about four different ways to make coffee in here because, <laughs> again, that's, what, that, that's what's important. This is the most important drawer of all is our coffee drawer. And then under here is where we kind of have our, our simple pots and pans. We have a colander, we have a little cast iron 
biscuit where you can put eggs in here to make them circular biscuits, make tiny pancakes. It's actually pretty nifty and it fits really well on our stove. And then we have a cast iron skillet as well. This is all we have so far. But we have plenty of room for pots and pans we've acquired so far. We can always get more, I guess, in here if we, if we need it anymore. Moving on over here, we have the little secret table that I made for us to eat on when we need to. So we can sit here, have a snack. I could also use this as additional cooking space if I needed to prep anything while I was cooking. The cooler is kind of locked up in here. Voila, we have a lovely Arctic cooler. I don't remember which size this one is. It's uh, 45. 45. So voila, right now we just have water in there because <laughs> this isn't a long trip. Today is just a day trip. So we don't plan on staying out or anything. That's why we don't have much in the van right now. <laughs> But I mean, this has done a really good job so far and just having this one thing of ice, everything in here is very cold still. Cool things, nice and chilled. Walks really great as well. Lock it up for driving purposes. So in the front, we have a thermal curtain to help keep the temperature consistent back here. So these thermal curtains that I made, they're actually three layers. So on this side, it's the it's a blackout curtain. And the main reason we did that is if we ever wanted to do stealth, where we wanted to just kind of park anywhere out in the city, this would kind of make it look completely black like a normal van. We wouldn't have our reflectics up either. Um, and I also have a thermal core inside that's reflective. Um, it's the same thing that's used in like oven mitts and other things that you don't want to burn your hands on. So we've got this blackout curtain on this side, that thermal material, and then something decorative that's lightweight on the outside. And it does a really good job of keeping whatever temperature is in here, in here. And it doesn't come out into the van area. Um, it's just really nice in the hot times. And once we start in the winter, well, nice and easy. We also have a few window shades and stuff which is kind of dark up to. Yeah, they're made of reflectics. Which is the point of having them. Uh, we have a swivel sill chill. That way one of us can sit there, relax, or eat. It's always nice to have extra seating. And we have two Max Air fans. That's right here. One in the back, one in the front. One of the reasons we went with two that we have decent circulation going through the van and also when we're cooking we can have this one suck the air out that way the van's not all smoky and and stuff and there's our switches kept it pretty simple front and back lights this one is for the usb outlets which we have a USB by the bed and also behind Ashley's butt is another one. Very handy for our cellular devices that can be held in our This shows. is our little power readout. So I don't know how much juice will. Okay, power wise. We decided not to go solo. We might do that in the future since we're not living in the van. That's, uh, it's pretty expensive. I really didn't want to spend that much on something we're not living in but we do have a 100 amp hour AGM battery that lives underneath the driver's seat that's running on a battery isolator that way the auto lights and fans and stuff doesn't drain on main battery that's on a separate system so the alternator charges the battery for all back here so power wise it is very simple you might upgrade later Eventually. Yeah, if we go on those big trips. Mm. Alright, and as you can guess, this is the sleeping, relaxing area. Um, I mean, even though it seems pretty close, we have plenty of room up there. Both Trip and I are pretty short, so we can easily sit up here pretty comfortably without, you know, bumping our heads too much. 
from here under the fan, then perfect. So again, if we have our clothes and other toiletries here, it's really easy to access. Trip made these little shelves for us to put some of our electronics or games, like our switches, something there. We also have one on the other side for our cell phones uh, whenever we're charging with the little USB here. Him and I both wear glasses, so that's where we'll put our lovely glasses when we're sleeping at night. You of course have some Reflectix on this side as well to keep the sun out, but they're very easy to take off. I put magnets in them all the way around, so they're very easy to, to peel off. Check out the weather, check out the beautiful scenery, and check out that awesome car out there. <laughs> check out the Miata. Very nice view out there. So the mattress we have is just a six inch cool gel memory foam for the most of it and it has a section on there that's supposed to be like a cooling gel. Uh, Trip and I both kind of sleep hot and memory foam is notorious for being hot so I got the cool type that way it breathes a little bit better and you know and it fits really well into the frame I think that this is um, big enough all into windows aside six inches is plenty for us. I'll have to ask my accountant about that. And, um, and it's, I mean, it's very comfortable. It's, it's absolutely better than being in a tent on the ground. I mean, it's a, feel really good after a night's sleep on this. As you notice, the beds have cutouts into the walls that would give us a little bit more room to stretch out. Luckily, I mean, actually both for pretty short people. And I'm only 5'7". She's a little shorter, and we both can stretch out pretty comfortably without touching the walls and stuff. So, plus one for being short. <laughs> it's also the reason we went this way instead of this way. We saved more room this way. Yeah, it really maximized a lot of space, not only in the kitchen living room area, but also in the garage area, which we'll be showing you soon. We also decided to go with a fixed bed. Instead of one we had them make all the time. Because Ollie didn't feel like making bed every time we wanted to sleep in it. Because after watching like hundreds of van life videos and stuff, it seemed to be a common complaint, I guess, with some of them, is making a non fixed bed and fixing it all the time. So, Ain't nobody got time for that. So we wanted to make sure it was fixed and we just jump in it whenever we want. So next on the tour, be the garage. So we made a friend. We've made a friend. All right, let's go back to the garage. Uh, as you can see, we have a trailer hitch. We have a 16 foot trailer. They like to pull our toys with. So it's kind of a mess back here right now. Okay, here is the garage. We I wanted a pretty big garage. That way if I go to the track or something, I have room for tools, spare tiles, and just other random stuff like chairs, rat straps, jacks, everything I need for a long track day. I do have two lights back here. Of course, you can see our cooler takes up a good bit of room, unfortunately. And this is the power. As you can see, it's very simple. Not much going on though. But yeah, plenty of room to put things. And also, if I, if I needed to use this as a truck, I can do so. I can remove the cooler and the slider and put two by fours down the middle, which I had to do like a week ago. Like a week ago, we were building the bass ball for the Miata and had to buy 12 foot. Yeah, 12 foot. Yeah, 12 foot long pieces of steel tubing, which was able to go all the way to the front of the van in the middle. So that came in very much handy. Yeah. Easily 
pretty modifiable for any use that we need, pretty much. So yeah, I, I, I can still use it to haul stuff, and plus we have a trailer, so. Bye. Oh, start no in. <laughs> Go hide. So the van is still far from done. There's still still a lot of little things we still need to do. Like uh like you see right around all the door, all the, the bell. We can add some trim or put some fabric on it or something like that. Uh we still need to do a lot of decorative, decorating trim pieces. Trim here. pieces. Which we bought trim pieces, which have done it yet. And so in the kitchen area, we'll definitely want some additional lighting to go underneath here because it is it is a little little dark. Um, because of the cooking space, you know, it does produce quite a lot of heat. So we'll probably put a piece of metal up here to just protect the cabinetry a little bit better. We'll also want to put in a backsplash of some kind, maybe here and here. That way it's just easier to clean up when we get grease spilling out. And again, better protect it for the walls. The one thing that I'm kind of excited about, as you can see, it's raining. Right now we're under some trees, so it's fine. But I can't wait for us to get like a little awning that will go right here. Again, we have our little table. So even if it's inclement weather, we could just sit out here and, and look out and not have to worry about pouring rain and it'll be a little easier to if we're soaking wet or muddy to kind of change out here not getting soaked get into the van later another thing that's on the to-do list is a bug net ah yes we want a bug net for here and also the back door that way if you want to leave the doors open at night while we sleep we can do that get that nice cool breeze coming through yep. without and having all the bugs swarm us yeah, in our sleep. I definitely say it when we, if we get one, I'll be looking at the ones that have the magnet closure. So as soon as you go in and out, it automatically closes with the magnets. They're pretty cool. We also have a piece of reflectors on the, the big window. So we still haven't figured out what we're going to do in here. Because there's a they're kind of playing right now, so we, we either need to put something on this or decorate it somehow. So, all of this is stuff we get to play with later. Mm -hmm. When we're not super busy or building other projects and life slows down, I guess. Also, uh, I do have a build series, so if you want to see how we built this, uh, I pretty much go up through the whole thing in sections from floor to ceiling. To the walls, bed, electrical. It's pretty much all on my channel. So if there's anything in here you want to know how we did, or if you want to do it yourself, check those out. I'll throw some links for those. I guess for now we can go jump into Miata and go have some fun. Go cruising backwards in the middle of nowhere in Tennessee. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please like it. And also subscribe. And also hit that notification bell down here somewhere. Looks like a bell. I don't think it jingles. And if you're quarantined like me, stuck at home, nothing to do. Well, I got plenty of things to do. Uh, you can check out one of my other videos. Where I fix or break things. Or crash or everything else um, but, uh, but until then stay safe have fun don't do anything i would do peace out